Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I will show you how to delete grid bureau uh, using the command name uh, that is delete uh, from the uh, nefp.net sharp. So first of all, design a grid view control uh, and also bind it with the uh, that table that is state table. Okay, now add a new item. that is web form simply uh, in this uh, tutorial I will take a single template that is uh, item template no need to take uh, edit item template and any other uh, item template grid view with ID is grid1 run at server that is server side code and server side control auto generated column means false means uh, no such columns generated by grid view automatically and on row deleting event is fire that is new event that is grid view row deleting that's fine in which we can take columns uh, you can take multiple uh, column tags in a single grid view ASP template field the header text of the template field is action it means uh, in this columns I will take uh, delete button so uh, in the template field I will take a item template and in the item template uh, I am taking a single button control ASP button ID is B1 run at server uh, the command name and the uh, text also use the command name is delete okay by using command name we can delete row from the grid view uh, listen carefully the only the command name command name is responsible to delete the row when we click on the delete the respective command name is calling and the event that is row deleting event ok so um, the another template field is taking the item templates in the item templates we have uh, a label control ASP label ID is, um, ID is ST label run at server and text is referred to the text of the second column uh, which is bind with the uh, state table so eval is a method through which we can bind it ok id is the column name ok that's fine now copy this template and uh, paste it for the name the header text is also changed uh, or you can say replace with the id to name and in the evil method also pass the name that's the design uh, yeah but uh, the button does not take uh, the name or you can say the text property so assign the text in the button control text is delete also delete yeah that's the format uh, of the deleting raw from the grid view ok so when your first time your page is load then bind the grid view with the data uh, or you can say database table uh, bind grid is a method that when your page is not post back then load the grid view ok so simple we can call the SQL connection command etc uh, through which we can delete row from the grid view the own method are responsible to delete a row SQL connection colon equals to new SQL connection this is already uh, done in previous uh, video tutorials 
so you can check uh, the more details about the SQL connection ca um, class command class data set data reader data adapter and uh, data table data rows etc this is already uh, clear in previous video tutorials how to create a connection string in web.config file this the all things are clear in previous video tutorials so uh, first uh, so check it uh, the output of this uh, article today only cmd dot command text is select star from the table name the table name is related to the state that is state uh, you can see in uh, server explorer command connection associated with the con object SQL data reader actually uh, the difference between I clear the difference between the data set and the data reader uh, SQL data reader class does not take uh, the paging capabilities and the data set is also having a paging capabilities it means when we bind uh, any uh, control with the data source SQL data reader then does not include the paging okay so always we get error that is on paging error on create paging errors uh, while we connect data set with the any databases then does not uh, occur that types of problems okay so pass the connection string in the connection object now after doing this uh, the first thing in the deleting row that is uh, create the connection and for the each binding connection is closed you can take you can also use using command for the uh, removing or you can say removing resources from the table ok that's fine delete from table name that is state where ID and uh, where I can get the ID that is ID 1 that is a parameter so create a parameter cmd dot from command dot parameter and find the ID uh, from the label ID yeah. you can also uh, learn from this video tutorials how to get the ID from the label uh, from the grid view that is the parameter that is id1 and pass where l1 dot text l1 is the label name and the text is uh, used to delete the row for particular row you can say so create a label to get the id of the cmd dot uh, execute reader execute none queries now label L1 equals to grid view oops and that is the grid only grid1 dot what rows and the row rows define e dot row index that is row index dot find control and what id pass it, it here as a label that is the label id uh, from the template uh, from the item template in the source view and after deleting the row you can bind you can call this method again bind grid ok that's fine now go to the uh, part 9 uh, source part and pick the label id and paste it here that's fine now run Awesome video tutorials for uh, removing the row from the grid view. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial.